initial call came a couple of months after uh, uh, Mandela's release. And I was called and I was in London and uh, told that Nelson Mandela would like to meet with me. And I still had my home in Johannesburg then and uh, agreed that we uh, would meet. And uh, obviously, uh, I was quite amazed that he'd reached out to me and and uh, and he arrived at my home and we had a uh, very nice dinner and he explained to me that he wanted to meet me because uh, because of Sun City and the homeland and the fact that I knew a number of the homeland leaders that he wanted me to try and work with him towards bringing people together. Yeah. And so that was the approach. And I, I was uh, obviously, firstly, uh, everybody would be in awe to meet him. Yeah. And, but I, I must say that when I met him, uh, I felt very relaxed. And, uh, and we got on very well. And, uh, and we became great friends. And in the process, you know, I tried to help as much as I could. And then when it actually came to the inauguration, back in 94, um, there were a 1,000 people uh, from uh, every country in the world was represented. Yeah. Castro was there. Gaddafi was there. <laughs> uh, wow. Clinton was there. So it was a crazy mix of people. And we were responsible for organizing the lunch, which was at the residence. And uh, anyway, it was, uh, it was challenging, but it, it was very exciting and important things. It all went very well.